say. Maybe maybe your uh, Ninja Gaiden Shadows is a little bit less known, but yeah, this is uh, yeah, this is it. Oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> I've adapted to it. Already? Okay, count me down. Yeah. Okay. There are um, eight chapters in this game. This first, the forest. Oh, damn this. Oh, no, my. Oh, wow. It's a good start. The controller is a bit um, old. So. Uh, some of the jumps, I might miss a couple of the jumps, just because the controller wants me to. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I don't know why I drew that star, I didn't need to draw that. Um, it's a pretty straightforward uh, platformer, action platformer I guess. And basically, as far as I know I'm the only one running it. There's this guy in Brazil though, Mephistus, shout out to him, who also has done some attempts on this game. Hopefully he'll join me in races and such in the in the future. What you saw there, uh, the, the Flash, is um, something new in the Ninja Gaiden games. It's a sort of a bomb, it costs 5 health, and it, it's the only thing that can damage bosses um, like this guy while he's in his invisibility. Invisibility frames, which lasts for about a s one second, so it's really helpful on bosses. I don't really use it that much during the stages, but a couple of places it's really useful. This is the biggest level when it comes to RNG. Um, a couple of the, uh, the birds can be tricky, and these camera guys um, are. Yeah, th it looks like they. To shoot you with a, a camera or something. Um, and they're real, they can be really annoying. I'm gonna try a new trick here. Let's see if I can get it. I'm gonna try it once more just because I wanna get it. Um, almost got it. No, oh, okay, okay, I'm gonna skip it. You basically saw what happened there. If I were a little bit higher up on this screen before uh, um, going to the next screen, I would have. Um, would have just clipped through the fro uh, floor and, uh, and saved about two seconds if I got it first try. Okay, so I gotta be a little bit careful now because I'm, I'm a little bit low on health. But otherwise I'm good. Another thing you might notice is that I have uh, 505 Nimpo instead of the, what, 20 you get in the Ninja Gaiden uh, for the NES. Uh, oh wow, that's bad luck. <laughs> Not bad luck, just bad execution. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you get a lot of info in this game, Ninja Power. Wow, it's unlucky as well. Um, yeah, so, um, they're way more, way more lenient on the info. And when you get, uh, 999 info, uh, you get basically infinite info. I don't know why they left it in the game uh, or programmed it that way, but it's. I think it's something they used for the uh, the demo, and just and they just decided to leave it in from there. And that's the hardest boss in the game. He just sits there and falls asleep basically. Okay, so. May I read some see. donations? Yeah. Right okay. Um, we got a five dollar donation from Mathesis for Crazy Rasmus. I find it funny how after all these attempts, you still haven't figured out their patterns and strategies. 
to them. It's fairly simple. Hugh <laughs> Hugh. <laughs> yeah, shout out to that guy. Twenty dollars uh, from Beatrim. Good luck, Rasmus. Master system, master race. <laughs> One dollar from Pizza Player and Crankmatic. Swena so got some hashtag swag going today. Yeah, just just about, just about the uh, mass system community. <laughs> so um, shout out to them. Oh wow. There you go. Okay, so I have 999 info already. I got it a bit sooner. Usually you don't have it before the start of the next chapter, but I I uh, decided to go safe just because. Um, so yeah, now I have the fire wheel. I'm gonna have it for the next, uh, well, uh, the next uh, two levels. And yeah, real ninjas uh, don't uh, climb ladders; they jump them. Oh. This part is tricky. I really don't like, like these guys because if you go up the ladder too quickly, they will hit you. Come on. You can jump. You can damage these off those spikes and like uh, reach uh, the edge. There you go. It's a new trick I got from the Japanese TAS that I discovered only a couple of weeks ago. Okay, so we're coming on to the next boss. There's a slight chance I might soft lock this guy, so I'm gonna, well, kind of soft lock him. I can glitch him into the wall and he just won't come out. Okay. He's not behaving today. Yeah, when you when you jump, he basically just continues because he thinks you're in front of him. There we go. That was a kind of a sloppy fight, but it worked. Okay, it's chapter four. It's I think it's my favorite level now because uh, there's a lot of. Uh, tricky timing and uh, tricky jumps all throughout the, the level. And the boss fight is fun. So yeah, there's a lot of you basically just run through the level using the fire wheel. Fire wheel. I don't like the. Um, I don't like uh, Ninja Gaiden Three. And it lasts way longer in this game. It lasts for five in-game seconds instead of just. I think it's just three in the in Ninja Gaiden three, three seconds. Oh, one two. You can uh, get down that chute without touching the walls. Sadly, I clipped one of those. Okay, coming up is the, one of the new tricks I've discovered for this game. I call it the Jack Off Jaguar uh, in homage to. No, I didn't get the first try. That's actually that beats. No! Come on. Got it. So, oh! <laughs> I fell. Okay, whatever. Uh, it says about four seconds because you don't have to climb, the, climb the, all of the waterfall. Um, nice little damage boost. I'm sorry if the waterfall hurt your eye, hurt your eyes. I've been running this game for a year now. My eyes are destroyed from uh, the waterfall graphics. All stream is even worse. Huh? All stream is even worse. Yeah. So this is uh, Jetpack Ninja. Uh, I used explosions in the. Uh, in the start there to get him to second phase earlier because I can only hit him twice per cycle this uh, this phase but in this next phase I can hit him up to I can hit him three times per phase or per cycle I mean so it's way quicker to uh, get him this part uh, yeah he can very easily hit you when you're in fire wheel that was a perfect fight actually that was pretty good Oh, thank you. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so this is very straightforward level. I think I messed up. Yeah, I did. The timing in this level is, uh, is perfect, I guess. But I messed up now because I used to fire a little earlier than I should. But yeah, okay, now it's fixed. Is this ice physics? Yeah, yes, yeah, ice fix it, physics. Um, but you really don't get to show it off because I just move forward the entire time. And it's the uh, most straightforward level in this in this game. It's pretty much pretty much optimized. And yeah, there's a lot of similarities between the this this uh, part of the level and the uh, Ice Cavern in, uh, in the Ninja Gaiden 3. And I do not know wh what the uh, red blobs with one eye, what they are, I have no idea. You can't hit them at all without uh, the use of a uh, Nimpo. So they're pretty annoying if you don't have uh, a fire shield here. This is the, also the last level I have the fire wheel. Because I traded to the homing shot at the very end of the level, which is extremely useful in the later bosses. And also this boss. Absolutely yeah, that it's a snowball actually. And oh, uh, I was trying to not let him catch me, catch up with me. They're pretty determined to, to come and get me. And now I got the homing shot, and as you can see, the bosses get kind of trivial. Not as quick as the, the NES ones, but uh, because of the invincibility frames. But still, it's, uh, it's easier. Okay, in chapter six in the lava stage. Um, this is this used to be the the run under because it's I don't know why I did that so <laughs> because of this next screen. It's um, if you don't get it, you can you waste a lot of time here. Got it. Like getting the getting that explosion and well, oh, that was close. Uh, and, and get all all the jumps, get a smooth uh, smooth flight of that screen. It's really really hard because the the lava is uh, on a set pattern, and I pretty much got it perfectly there. Trying to think about it, if there's anything I've forgotten to to mention about this game. That's, uh, yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. That was lucky. Nintendo, of course. Uh, I gotta wait here. No, I can't. I don't have to wait for a second. Ah, oh, that was bad. Just forgot uh, that I could uh, could have just boosted off the lava. The, those flame guys are really annoying. That's uh, when they catch up with you. Could have just just done this the first time. I just forgot about it. This is the most boring boss in the, in the game, especially if you don't have the, war, uh, the fire wheel, no, um, the homing shot. Because you have to uh, do hit him just once, you can't just hit him once per, per cycle because he just kills you. The RNG on the falling spikes and everything just kills you every time. And I can hit him once off screen for some reason because it's assembled there and his hitbox is, uh, is available. I haven't gotten the triple shot because you can hit him three times while he's uh, uh, above ground, so to speak. And but it's uh, you have to get three frame perfect shots on him 
I've gotten it a couple of times in practice or PSA. But uh, yeah, I think if you get it twice in uh, in one fight, you save like five seconds. And it's really good uh, good thing to get. But it's yeah, really really hard. Uh oh, do that again. There we go. Ooh. This would be safe if I use the explosion one more time. I'm gonna be a little bit low on health now, but I'm, I think I'll be okay. So, for some reason, in this ancient temple, there's a, um, a wind tunnel. I don't really get why. But it's really annoying. Okay, so up next, um, I'm gonna try to do a, a strat. Oh, okay, now I can't do it actually because it's. I have to do it perfectly from the very start of the screen. Oh well. Because uh, there's this strat that Mephistus, uh, this uh, Brazilian uh, guy I mentioned, he made this uh, strat. And it's really good because you get uh, pretty much a perfect cycle uh, to on this plat these platforms if you do it perfectly. Now we kind of have to wait. That's fine. Didn't lose too much time there. I'm gonna see if I can do a frame perfect jump here. I think I got it. Oh. So you need to. You can jump off the edge there and just jump straight over the, the guy on the platform, which you usually can't do. It's really hard to get. No, 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 no! Oh man, that's like the most pricey jump to, to miss. <laughs> yeah, that guy is uh, not cool. Oh, there you go. You can do a frame perfect jump here. I didn't get it. You can jump over that fire guy and save a couple of frames. Yeah, it's really, really hard. I got it three times in a row in practice for some reason. You can't jump over that wall, but it's uh, pretty much frame perfect. It's really, really hard to do. And I got a pretty good rotation on the spikes, so I didn't have to try it. Well, I didn't have the time to try it without wasting any. So this is the last uh, last screen of the okay last screen of the level before the boss rush. This boss can be uh, annoying to say the least, because the shurikens he fires at you are uh, homing. Oh, this guy has killed me in practice a couple of times. I don't think he will have the chance now. Well, who knows? Okay, I got him. Okay, so now onwards to chapter 8 and last two fights. I'm just gonna stay at the top of the screen because you can't do anything to me there. It's a technique I call the um, cancel climbing because if you uh, wall jump and use the nimpo on the first frame, one of the first frames possible, you kind of bounce back onto the wall and you can uh, effectively climb the wall. You you, that's what I tried to do in chapter 2 but failed. Uh, it's really tricky because the uh, frames are tight. Last boss, the spooky, spooky uh, blue skeleton guy. Again, these last so boss fights are kind of trivial with the uh, with the homing shots. Okay, get ready for time. And time. 40. 40, okay. That's okay, I guess. That's it. 
Thanks. So we're setting up for Ninja Gaiden Shadow and I present by Bungera right now.